Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Scholarships, where we bring you latest updates on scholarships, internships, and other educational opportunities all around the world. If you are dreaming of doing your PhD in one of the most advanced research environments in the world, fully funded in English, and nested on a stunning Japanese island surrounded by coral reefs and global thinkers. Welcome to Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology or OIST, a place where boundaries between disciplines disappear and the next generation of scientists and innovators are born. The OIST PhD Scholarships 2026 is now open and this could be your once in a lifetime opportunity to join an elite international graduate program where cutting edge researchers and you will get full financial support and world class mentorship. In this video, we are going through we are going to discuss about everything you need to know about this program from eligibility criteria to the benefits and required documents and step by step instructions to help you successfully apply to one of the most prestigious PhD opportunities in Asia. First, let us get the overview about this program, what the OIST scholarship program is about. OIST is one of the Japan's most innovative graduate schools located on a beautiful island of Okinawa. Every year around 60 international students are accepted into this interdisciplinary PhD program and the best part it is entirely in English. The program spans about five years combining coursework and original research. What makes OIST truly stand out is its commitment to interdisciplinary science, meaning your research could cross fields like neuroscience, marine science, quantum computing or environmental studies. So if you are passionate about pursuing boundaries in research, OIST might be the perfect launchpad for your career in science. This is an incredible opportunity for the candidates who want to pursue their PhD. Now let's see the eligibility requirements for this program. Here is the requirements that you need to meet in order to apply for this program. Firstly, you must be in the final two years of a bachelor's degree or enrolled in any of a master's program or already have a bachelor's or master's degree. Plus, you should be ready to apply before the deadline and meet OIST English language requirements. Even though submitting an English test score is optional, it is highly recommended, especially if your previous education was in English. So these are the requirements that you need to meet in order to apply for this program. Now let's see the benefits. Here is what this program offers. OIST offers fully funded PhD program which means no tuition fee, monthly stipend to cover your living expenses, relocation costs, it will also provide health insurance and full access to high tech research labs and equipment. This level of support is rare especially at PhD level and is funded primarily by the Japanese government. Before you think of applying you need to prepare some documents, you need to keep them available and here is the full list you need a complete online application form academic transcripts and degree certificates you need a statement of purpose explaining your goals and research interests you will also need to provide recommendation letters submitted by professors or academic mentors and also optional but helpful english proficiency scores a copy of your passport and a recent photograph Make sure to keep these documents ready before you start applying. Make sure everything is translated, in, translated into English and double check every document before you apply. Now let's see the application process. Let's see step by step what you need to do in order to apply for this program. Here is step by step guide. You need to follow these steps. 
firstly you must visit the official oist website and head to the graduate admission section after that you need to check research units to see which faculty or labs match your interests and then confirm your potential supervisor is accepting new students after that you need to complete the online application and upload your documents and then you can submit your application before the deadline uh, there is no application fee for this program so you don't have to worry about application fee you can view the complete details about this program on our website the kashmirloop.com or fullscholarship.net and here is the link to the official oist website now let's see how we can fill up the application form for this program click on this link this is the official oist website and here are the phd programs you can view the details about this program eligibility application procedure requirements and optional documents and how to apply first you need to check the list of faculty and research units here click on this link now here you can filter you, here you can select your research discipline for example let me select the chemistry after that you have to enter your enter keyword or you can select specialty here now here you can view the faculty available under this program after finding the faculty now you can check the availability their availability to actual actually supervise a phd students you can check that here after checking that you can finally start your application here here is the application link click on this link now you can create an account here uh, you need to enter these details after that uh, a verification code will be sent to your email you need to enter that code and then you can create your account i have already created an account so let's log in now you can start an application here click on start new application next click on create application then click on open application so we have created an application now we need to fill out these details and then we can submit firstly there are some instructions go through these instructions and here is a confirmation checkbox click it then click on continue now we need to enter our personal details which includes our name our address our email also our contact details we need to enter our biographical information information such as gender birth 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 date and etc and we need to provide our citizenship information also so after filling this section we can move to the next one next section we have about education history we need to provide details about our bachelor's program we can click on add institute here now here you can add the details about your institute and you have to upload a copy of your diploma if you have not graduated or do not have a diploma yet please upload a certificate of enrollment of your institute and if you have a uh, undergraduate degree you can upload the transcript here then click on save after adding the details about your institute there are some questions here are have you ever been dismissed from or denied the admission to any college you can select no is there any unusual about your academic record click on no then click on continue now we have to provide some supporting information you need to 
specify your interest intended field of thesis research while studying at OST click on this drop down and select and you need to provide your statement of purpose here are the details about statement of purpose it should not be more than 2500 characters here you can provide your statement of purpose after that you have to upload your CV and a photograph these are the requirements regarding the photograph after uploading you need to upload valid student ID or certificate of registration if you are a current student if not you can leave it and then click on continue now in this section we have to provide details about non-degree studies and career if you have any additional studies you can provide the information about them here <coughs> and you can add the supporting documents here <coughs> if there is any other in other information it is optional if you want to provide you can provide it if not you can move to the next section now in this section we need to provide information about area of scientific interest here you can select the research field of interest you can select the core field let me select one and some minor fields and then we need to select a faculty of interest you need to select between two and five faculty members in order of your interest you can select them here Click on this drop down, you need to select 2 to 5. Next, we have exam scores. Click on add test. Here, you can add tests and you can add the date and you can add the scores. Next, we have exam documents, uh, language proficiency. If you are a native speaker or is it the English language of instruction of your formal education from your high school level. You can select if you have completed your previous education in English. If not, then you can select no and you need to provide the language supporting documents. Click on continue. Now, travel information. We need to provide our passport number and we need to add a scanned copy of, of our passport. Now next we have relationship with OST. We have interest in OST program. Have you attended OST research internship program? If you have, you can select yes. If no, then no. And then if you are not selected, would you like to would you like for us to share your information? You can select and interactions with OIST. And how do you did you hear about it? You can select that here. And you can provide further information if you want to then move to the next section next we have recommendation letters here you need to ensure you obtain permission and confirm that you have the correct email address before entering the contact information about your referees you can add referee here and you need to provide details about your referee and you can send to recommender them now you can finally review your application here is some problem with recommendations it says a minimum of two reference letters have not been submitted by the referees so you can contact your referees and ask them for the submission of the reference letters and we here we can check under instruction section the submission for 126 PhD winter admission selection will be accepted and starting date is from August 1st 2025 so the applications are not open yet by following these steps uh, you will get an idea how you have to submit your application and you need to you have got plenty of time to contact your referees so that they can submit their recommendation letters by following these steps you can successfully submit the application and 
that's it for today's video whether you are into physics biology computer science or environmental studies oist offers the tools resource and global network to take your research to the next level if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from this video and also do subscribe our youtube channel for scholarship and don't forget to follow us on instagram for upcoming updates on scholarships and other educational opportunities all around the world thanks for watching and good luck with your application